Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Insurmountable. We are on the second mountain. We are... Uh, boy, I uh, really put myself uh, in a garbage spot <laughs> after the last cliffhanger. Uh, yes, yes. We... I mean, we're, we're fine, I think, right? Like, we have... We have a good, decent way to generate heat because we just have good, like, good body temperature, uh, warming up gloves and a nice hat. So, while this situation looks kind of bad, it's not that bad. Uh, I did put myself in a spot where we have to make, like, an, a massive climb, like, immediately, which is not great, but you know what? Only way to do it is to do it. We have a bunch of tents. We have a lot of ways to, uh, and by a bunch of tents, I mean we have a couple tents. We have a lot of ways to regenerate our, our energy. So I'm not too worried. Our heat, oh boy. What does this look like? Doesn't look great, but there's really, again, there's really not much we can do about it. But, uh, yeah, we're probably halfway Halfway up this mountain, a third of the way up this mountain. Got to climb all the way back, or all the way up, and then we got to climb all the way back down. Before we can even make it to our third and final mountain of the normal run with this character, the scientist. You got the ability to scoot out here. So, man, it is. At least we can see the events, because that's... Wait, did I... I thought I saw... Caught a glim glimpse of a cave. This is, it's impossible to see anything. Oh my god. Alright. Well. Let's go to this event. Hopefully we can find a way to pass some time. Here. That would be super ideal. Let's get our speed up going. Uh, okay. We can sacrifice sanity and, and temperature. Tomorrow is a clear day. So... We, we should be okay. If we hit low temp. Or hell. Even if we hit zero temp. We should be fine. You dig around in the snow looking for other body parts. Anything that might provide a clue? Nothing. Maybe a wild animal found the hand and dragged it here. Oh, shoot. I thought it was a different one. You spot something catching the light. Uh, wait. Catching the light in the recess of a nearby rock. You investigate and find a knife. It's played dull and stained. Maybe this was used to sever the hand. Sadly, it's unusable now. That is a shame. It'd be kind of cool if we had, like, a... Some way to defend ourselves in a, like an actual combat event of some kind, like with an animal jumping us or something. We've had that happen before. We want to make sure we're going up with the most incremental, incremental jumps up possible here. I've got my eye out for a, a potential cave or something. As soon as day hits, oh my god, it's going to be great. Uh... It might be in my best interest. The air's getting thin, your breath heavy. You've entered the death zone. You pause for a moment to prepare. Oh, boy. So we can take it slow, which gives us plus one oxygen per hour while moving. We can save up our energy. We can mend our wounds. Let's take it slow. We'll get the, we'll get the oxygen. Crates filled with dynamite, of course. Dynamite are stacked up in a small cave area behind the crates. You can make out a few torches. Now, those would be useful. Hmm. Is it worth this penalty? Climb over the crates. What could possibly go wrong? You carefully climb over them. A feeling of foreboding comes over you. doesn't matter, matter how long the dynamite has been here. It could still explode. If something hit it hard enough, your heart beats out of control, you feel dizzy, you bump into crate, and are able to grab it just before it slams into the floor. No, it is not worth it. Better back out. Rip. Um, so here's the thing. If I were to use a tent, what would it do to my stats here? So it, it actually, it would be an oxygen penalty. Is this back down out of the death zone? Yes, this is out of the death zone, so it, it's worth it. Wait, why does it say 20 minus 25? No, it's not. What? Which one? Is it this one? Oh, boy. Okay, so we're good. We're death zone is 6,000 meters. Gotcha. All right, so in theory, 
Yep, we're good. Uh, it is, uh, it's using up quite a bit of the day, but the good news is it puts us into the, uh, the next day where we will actually start to be hopefully generating body heat just by moving. Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. So let's use our zoom out, boy. What are we looking at? There's the mountain peak. Obviously, we're not going to make it there. Without some adjustments. Uh, is this really our best path? I think it might be. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go here. And then we will pop our master climber, which gives us a minus 40% energy cost on all terrain. Dig uh, an indigenous man slumped against a rock face does not stir you stir as you approach as you get closer. Yeah, you notice his right hand is missing. The stump has been bandaged with stained rags. His eyes are wide and vacant. He must have died a lonely death. I don't know if it does anything, but well, let's do it. You huff and puff. Let's bury him. You drag the stranger's body into a depression in the rock. You collect the boulders to cover him. You cover his face last. And only after you close his eyes, you take a moment to reflect. Anyone who amputates their own hand and keeps going must be extremely strong and extremely desperate. E either way, paying your last respects to him is the right thing to do. Uh, uh, a chunk of sanity. I mean, it probably would have been more sanity than that if we were missing more. Yeah, okay, so, how much time, well, first of all, yeah, what, what's the energy cost of this? Where would we run out? There? How much time is that? That's an hour. Okay, I think, we have an oxygen tank, I think that, okay, so what happens to our oxygen if we switch into our oxygen mask? We're not going to... Are we going to lose heat overnight? No, but we're going to lose... We will lose less oxygen, which I think is something to certainly care about if we're going to be passing a long stretch of time. Spend time to gain experience points. It's worth it to me. We get the level up, and then we get a move towards daytime here. Significantly reduce time costs on all terrains. Teas and herbs are more effective. Reduce energy cost on all terrain. Uh, weakens the effect of stormy weather. Honestly, that might be a good idea. Uh, but oh well. Because uh, stormy weather, if you, if you didn't notice right there, it is coming up tomorrow. Which is going to be immediately a problem. Whoa! Okay. Alright, so it's worth it, I think, to go for the slight... The slight increase there. This is still dangerous. Here comes the storm. Absolutely awful time. Right when we have all these really, really steep inclines. Because uh, the storm is... What is it? It's a... Uh, cost of climbing increased. Swarm of flies hovers above the trench. Their buzzing sounds unusually loud and strange to you. Heart pounding. You peer over the edge of the trench. At the bottom you see a pile of human corpses intertwined. Their faces covered in black spots. Uh, seems like a bad idea. Keep my distance, but look around the area. Spots on the faces are very strange. Probably, you better not get too close. You find a bag hidden in some shrubbery. Must have belonged to the dead people. There's a few provisions. In <gasps> An entire tent. Oh my god. That is amazing. All right. Wow. That is, that is awesome. Uh, attempt the jump or go around the crevice. Maybe we'll make it across. You almost 
Make the jump cleanly. Oh, hitting the crab other side of the crab is hard. Oh boy. Probably shouldn't have taken the risk. So we lost some actual HP there. Which is still not entirely recovered from the initial one. Steaming hot water bubbles out of the crack in the rock to a stone basin below. You dip your fingertips into the milky pool. It feels warm and soothing. A hot spring you didn't find is... I didn't expect to find any volcanic activity on the island. But then again, this whole region is full of surprises and inexplicable phenomena. Maybe the occupiers kept the island a secret in order to exploit its unique properties. Maybe they themselves are responsible for these phenomena. You don't have any answers to these questions. You push onward to scale the summit. That's why you're here. All of the pieces will come together once you're up there. You're sure of it. But first, you want to stop for a rut. Why does the hot spring not give us heat? That makes none, none sense. Absolutely none of the sense. Okay, we're, we actually, like, all things considered, we're almost at the peak. We're doing pretty good. You enter a cave, try and sheltered. Further back, you see a small tunnel leading into darkness. We do have a torch. You want to explore a tunnel, but it's dark. You can't see your hands in front of your face. Your torch illuminates a passageway. You go even deeper into the cave system. Finally. Oh, my God. You uh, enter a chamber, find a box containing some provisions. The light of the torch goes to flicker. You pocket the provision before your torch goes out. That is huge. Huge. Two things of food. I can't believe it. All right, if we're sleeping, we're gonna be we're gonna want to sleep the whole way. Uh, oxygen is becoming increasingly clearly our problem, though. So maybe maybe we're better off eating our food. Let's let's go for this. We're we're gonna keep on our uh, our oxygen mask while we're up near the top here. Okay, tomorrow is a blizzard. Is there a better way there? Nope. Alright. Wow me. You better wow me. We could get san time for sanity. I, I don't want to trade. Basically, anything that says time for X right now is... It might as well say oxygen for X. Steps have been hewn into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts, some type of religious site or shrine. We have seen this before. Happily, I will take some HP. All right, what is the quickest way to the summit? No surprises there, really. Oof. All right, well, we'll let, let's uh, let's act on this. I think that it supplies. It could be an oxygen tank. That'd be absolutely perfect. We have we have the one. If we could get another, I would feel great. Uh, deep crevice in the rock, hid behind some shrubbery. Fur pouch might have belonged to a hunter. It, empty. Okay. Not great. So we're going to want to... I think we're going to want to use our food provisions while we're up near the top here. Uh, because we have way more energy access than we do oxygen access. If we would gain oxygen in the cave, that's a different story, but I don't think we would. Oof. You trudge along a slope piled high with snow. You sink deeper into the drifts with every step. Until suddenly your boot meets resistance, you push snow aside. A metallic surface with colored markings on it faded, but still identifiable. No doubt about it, you found the wing of a downed airplane. You were engrossed. Oh. <sighs> you're engrossed in your work, went out of the corner of your eye. You spout a billowing cloud of snow coming towards you. Quickly dive into a recess in the rock. Seconds later, tons of snow around you and ice come thundering down above you. You are plunged into darkness. The cold seeps into your bones. 
and gasp for air. Slowly you start to dig calmly and carefully until you burst out through the mantle of the snow and fresh air flows back into your lungs. That is... That is wretched. Um... We are losing we are losing heat and we are losing heat fast. Um Oh no. It's because it's nighttime and tomorrow's not gonna be any better because it's gonna be a blizzard. Oh we got we got screwed over bad. Oh boy. Best we can do is keep on with our energy here. If we go go into the cave. Oh boy. Yeah, this is this has actually turned grim. I was really banking on I, and I should have known. You enter a cave. You notice a faint shimmer of lights. You follow the light to the uh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, it's a new thing. You find a weathered block of stone encompassed by a strange light when you touch it. Energy flows into your body. You feel invigorated. Sleep is the, now the last thing on your mind. Massive amount of experience there. Time to for wounds. Increase your max energy. It's time for wounds uh preventing critical events sounds uh important it is a huge cooldown oh my god man mm -hmm. wow that makes such a massive difference Let's go for the climbing. We're gonna... Oh, man. We're almost... We're almost there. Hmm. Eagle eye this. This is actually not too bad. Shockingly. Shockingly not too bad. It's about all we can do here. No critical events either. Yeah, this is this is a pretty um this is a pr pretty forgiving peak. There's no critical events that I'm noticing. The firm snow. That's that's what we picked early. And this is this is the our reward for it, I guess, huh? The firm snow. It just happened to be right up here, huh? Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to adjust cuz there's no easy way up that way. Wow. Okay, we're going to do it. We're barely losing any heat, too. During cold weather. And we have our oxygen mask on. Huh. I am super impressed with how uh, not bad that peak was. Exhausted but elated, you take the final steps to the summit. You stop to enjoy the breathtaking view before you can take any readings. 
You listen faintly as though off in the distance you hear you can hear the cheers of a crowd. You well-deserved round of applause. Your fingers uh, hover over your instruments. Take a deep breath. Time for the greatest triumph of your life. But let me guess. Uh, okay, the electromagnetic radiations are high. Levels are high. Much higher than the first summit. So high you could provide half the world with cheap, clean energy. What? Only an ignorant fool could fail to recognize the importance of your findings. You know only too well how the research world works. You have to provide more data, gather more arguments to convince all those so-called experts. You have no choice. The third summit awaits you, but first you need to regain your strength. Wait. No. Oh, I got excited for a second. It looked like we didn't have to scale down this one for some reason. Uh... Doesn't feel too bad, right? Let's just get here and then we'll readjust. We have all the energy, and I don't I don't think we're gonna run out of oxygen. Okay. The mask has been really, really helpful. Um, just trying to see if we could do something like me. Oh, is it worth it? Probably not. All right, you think this way, huh? I will agree with you up to this point. And then we'll figure it out from there. Hmm. Could go down this way instead. We could hit three events, but then we'd have a really, really steep decline on one there. Okay, so we, we've, we've actually kind of locked ourselves to going. Yeah, we've locked ourselves to going down this way. Um, not bad. We can handle that. We've got we got food provisions. We got a lot of tents. We're just trying to get down to six thousand meters. So to an extent, like if we're good on energy and bad on oxygen, not now, like in the future, because uh, I think we're totally fine. Um, we might want to do really steep drops because we would drop a lot of meters. Aha, hello. I actually think I'm going to go with warmth because I don't know how this nighttime is going to look. Hmm. Tent takes up a lot of space. We're at 6,000. I'm going to be a little greedy. This also helps us sleep through the night. I'm going to be a little greedy on this. There's not a lot of night time there. Whoop. Okay. I I think I agree. As uh, as grim as it might be, we do have our on the edge event thing. All right. Send it. Let's go. Okay, well, clearly this doesn't count. Oh, boy. I guess I'll take the energy penalty. Okay, well, we're not going to obviously be able to make that whole path now. 
Uh, critical interruption events. So that's not what that is, I guess. That one is not technically a critical interruption event. Can we make it here? Well, if we don't get interrupted by something, we can. We're getting closer to escaping the death zone. Where oxygen won't matter. I... Yes! We made the jump. Thank God. Alright, because, yeah, we can't really... I can't make a whole lot of risks here with... Take a whole lot of risks here with the oxygen. With, with time, basically. You could get energy, that'd be great. You discover a large leather saddlebag. Faded hoof prints. You find another freaking tent. Alright, so... That's, uh, that's great. That's great, thank you. Let's say what height we're gonna go to. What if we slept short? To an extent, that's all we need. I'm risking it. We're going to do a brief sleep for the big chunk of energy. I don't love it. And we're going to put on our oxygen mask. We should have done that first. Well, no. If we can just make it here, then, then we're good. Yeah, we can't afford to go for time. Um, we go around that way. It sure seems like it. Then we can maybe get to the to a better altitude. I am worried about these events. If one of these hits me with something that's going to screw us over for time. Then, uh-oh. Alright, we're at 6,100. This should maybe be it. Right here, right? Oh, boy. Alright, well, we're going to hit low oxygen, but... But that was it. We've done it. Okay. Okay. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We're in the clear. Oh, we're in the clear. That's that. Beautiful. Definitely don't need the oxygen mask at this point. I forgot we had the, the energy cost gloves, too. Actually... We only have to uh, cross one dangerous event here for this one. Instead of risking two. In front of you see the outlines of monoliths arranged in a circular pattern. Some of them have collapsed and broken into thousands of pieces. An ancient ritual site? Sure. Silent witnesses of an ancient lost culture. Did nature do this to them, or were they destroyed by other humans? You're not sure, but something will eventually rise from these ruins, such as the Circle of Life. You're about to move on when you spot something twinkling beneath one of the monoliths. You move closer to discover some equipment, and you put it on. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Fur. Oh, my goodness. Who even cares about stinking old heat? Oh, well, that's risky anyways, apparently. All right, well, as soon as nighttime's over, we have a clear day ahead of us tomorrow. 
So this should provide us with uh, a lot of help here. Explore the tunnel, step into the darkness, I guess, and I turn around. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, you love to see it. Time is the only thing stopping us here. Okay, so that's the event there. We could easily just... If we hit this, what happens? How long does it take? That takes basically three hours. Sure, we'll go for it. Mostly for the uh, the big steep climb right here. Shouldn't matter too much, but we'll go for this, that, and then I guess we'll, we'll climb up, go for the special event there. We try and go for some... Eh. A lot of danger just to go for those supplies there. I don't know if that's really worth the risk. Especially when our backpack is pretty fierce right now. Uh-oh. Yet another corpse, huh? I will bury you. Find nothing useful. Okay. I will not bury you. I wish the cave was just, uh... Up right, right up there instead. Follow the light. It's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Just a good way to get some extra experience. We've not run into anything that is, um... Risky there. Oh, beautiful. We do have a cold day ahead of us tomorrow, but I don't care as I don't care that much about the cold day. The cold night is maybe a little of concern. Steps have been hewn into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts. Oh, some type of religious site or shrine. Let's get some of our HP back. We actually might be able to go into the next mountain at darn near the, the final mountain, to be more precise, at like full HP. As your gaze wanders up the towering vertical rock face, your eye is caught by some cast iron rings, old pittens. Uh, you tilt your head out of the way back. Should we go up? Let's go for it. Halfway up, you look down. Fall from this height would kill you at that exact moment. Oop, I'm, oh, okay. The pitten carrying your weight comes loose. Instinctively, you grab a crevice and cling to the rock faces like, like an insect. With all your strength, you creep up inch by inch until you finally reach the plateau and shelter in a rocky niche. Uh, quite shaking. You discover something left behind by someone who came before you. Some equipment. Thunder charm. Minus 30. What? Oh, my God. It's a, it's a trade-off. Minus 30% energy cost on all terrain, which is wild, but minus one sanity every hour. Okay. Very cool, though. All right, we're almost done here. Sh what would it look like to do this? Are these tents full? They are full-use tents. Sure as heck seems like this is the way to go. Uh, We'll even, like, you know what? We do have to refocus. Let's move right there. Hopefully no critical events happen here. <laughs> Here are a couple of loose stones rolling down the mountain. One of them hits you in the dang torso. I mean... So critical interruption events, are those, those might just be, okay, well, we didn't get any there. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, all right, we'll certainly do this, because we don't care about time. Sure, sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. You stumble along the mountain ridge next to the summit. Can't hold on much longer. You're losing focus, and with sheer drops on either side of with the sheer drops on either side of the ridge, you're gambling your life with every step. The terrain here offers very little shelter, but you decide to stop and rest. It seems like the only sensible option. 
Oh, baby. Oh, and that gets us back up to full HP, too. Mountain 2 has been conquered. You're starting to feel exhausted after all that climbing. Okay, so now we lose minus 0.2 sanity per hour when moving. That is going to be... That's just our, our, our next scar. It's kind of like a very gentle... I'm noticing it's kind of like a very, very gentle ascension system. Uh, which is kind of nice. Very gentle. Mountain three, let's let's get let's get started on it. We'll, we'll we'll get a crack at it so that maybe we can finish it in the next episode. Uh, but we'll we'll see how far we can get up it. Even more sanity loss, minus two body temperature when moving. Heavy blizzard. I mean that's rough. Very severe storms. Only active during cold weather. Only active during stormy weather. There's no... There are no benefits. Ah. Uh, we don't have good oxygen capabilities. I feel like... Heavy Blizzard seems alright. Heavy blizzard. Very rough terrain. Oh. This this final passive is what's sketchy here. I I would I would maybe take uh, well, you know, sure. Gotta do what we gotta do. Let's do it. You feel a swell of confidence as you spot the summit ahead of you, shrouded in fog. The last leg. Once you've made it, you will finally be able to enjoy the hard-earned fruits of your labor and make the world a better place. All right. Let's get a level up right away. Increased maximum oxygen. Significantly reduced time cost on all terrains. What was the... Uh, was the negative environment there was the uh very rough terrain that time cost is spooky because that means like our heat will go down faster and our and our sanity uh whenever you use consumable you get more sanity increase sanity gain in events I kind of like the idea of the increased max oxygen, though. But Alpine, that that that's gonna help us in a lot of categories. All right, the bottom of the mountain. Oh boy! Just click, just click go. The bottom of the mountain is, I think, generally a good. It's probably generally a good idea to just collect yourself, find. Maybe some supplies where you can. All right. Um, hmm. what's it take to get up there? Man, a lot already, huh? This is uh, the very rough terrain thing. Is no joke. I guess like we could do that the biggest thing stopping us is hold on 24 hours of that sure because it should be enough to help us with this help us with that get there we'll sleep maybe we'll get some experience in the cave even and then we should still have our no, we won't have our Master Climber buff. What am I talking about? Follow the light. What do we got? Ah, we got the, uh, the, the, the rando boost. The, it's a pretty good amount of experience, though. I don't mind. I don't mind. Man. I wonder where the death zone is on here. 
because it looks like we're going to be in the death zone for a much bigger amount of time. There's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival, watching the fire dance uh, in the face of the cold. It's almost meditative. You watch it and regain energy. You better believe it. How far out of the way is that? Is that really all that takes? It's like nothing. It takes time. And tomorrow is... Storm. But we did not opt to go for the storm that is going to harm us a lot. You hear voices coming from uh, behind a rock face. The soothing smell of fried food hits your nostrils. Uh, you peek around the corner. They're sitting around a campfire, passing around a jug. The brew must pack a punch. I think this was like an, uh, a penalty right away. Yep. We get the, the heat, though. That's going to be very helpful, especially since we do have a heavy blizzard coming up. Hmm. What is it going to look like to get there? Oh, that's not great. It's not great. But maybe it's fine. Let's go. Let's go here. As sketchy as it may be. While moving through the stony terrain, you keep a treacherous... Oh, plus 50% energy cost on all terrain. Treacherous piece of rock twisting your ankle. Okay, with that in mind, I am going to put on the climbing gloves temporarily. It's not actually too bad. It lasts for 24 hours. Wow. Look at all that. I mean, these are doing basically nothing for us, though. They are hardly a, hardly a concern. These, however, are going to be... Ow. I, I guess I'm confused about... Maybe I should be using this. I just don't know if it works. Prevents critical interruption events. My thought is that that is the things that happen because you're at zero. You do, okay, we discover an intact tent... The embers in the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. Could contain valuable items. Search! Unusable, unusual symbol catches your eye. You plunder it. You find valuable equipment. Alright. Well, I guess we've, we've got, like, really good equipment. So maybe this is... Maybe it's a sign that we shouldn't be taking specific risks like that. We maybe should have gone up the dangerous route. All too familiar spell of ethanol and herbs in the air. You listen, snoring sounds. You approach the source of the sound. Your three drinking buddies lie sheltered in a hollow, sleeping off their intoxication. So, here's the thing. I don't know what they're going to give me. You carefully rummage through the locals' bags. A twig snaps under your boot. Your heart stops. Body switch, incomprehensible muttering, you, but that homebrew has done a great job. No one's woken up secretly. You steal some of their equipment. Oh, baby. I just, I didn't know if they were going to steal my, or it was going to take my, uh, my flask and give me a warm hat again, because I already have one. Okay, thoroughly search the tents. Probably. I feel like Things that um, that just take a lot of time. A lot of your... Oh my god. It is wretched to see here. A lot of your time resource, you might as well do it when you're at the bottom of the mountain. Alright, what's over there? How tough is that? It's actually not bad at all. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. So far, so fine. That's not the top of the mountain, is it? No. No, not even close. Nightfall. Okay, there is a cave here. I I say we uh, we certainly opt uh, to go for that. No, do those stack? No, we just sprained our ankle again. 
We must have just walked it off. Lying on the ground are two dead mountaineers. Looks like they haven't been here for long. Recognize the symbol. It's the same one as the tent that you plundered. I, uh, you know, I don't think, I mean, I don't think that they're alive if I don't plunder the tent, right? Like, that's not how that works. Okay, we don't. I, think we, I don't think we want to go for this yet. I just realized we don't have a clean way up, do we? Under a tarp, you discover a large empty cage. Tufts of brownish fur are stuck between the bars. <laughs> I enter the cage. You find a backpack full of provisions. Oh, wow. I probably should not, like, you should... Well, I don't know why I entered the cage. I mean, I guess you searched the cage. It's too dark. You can't see your hands in front of your face. Fear stabs your heart. You cannot sta stay in the darkness any longer and want to return to the light. Wait. Why do we lose oxygen? Oh, I guess it's just like... Uh... Oh, this is actually really perfect. We lost oxygen, I guess, because it was just like... Oh, you the, it knocked the wind out of you. It freaked you out so much or something. All right. Lose some oxygen to gain some energy. Tea and herbs are more effective. Um, plus 30% effectiveness. We do have a tea and we have an herb. And we are going to want to use both of them throughout this expedition. Spend more time, but it ignores dangerous terrain. So that, that I think is... This, I think, does what I... Um, was assuming this would do. I'm going to go for herbology. We're, we're going to want to use that. Our sanity is going to be in question. Yet another cave. Okay. Take the time. Eagle Eye. Where are we at in relation to the dang peak? Oh my go. Oh. You want me to go that way, huh? Where was I going? I was going to go. Where was I going? I lost track of what I was planning on going to. I thought there was a cave. There is a cave. Okay. It's probably not a great idea. Uh, go there. Not too worried about Master Climber right now. We're losing no... Actually, no energy. Which is that good now, huh? Yikes. Should I go for this? I'm gonna say yeah. Again, while we're at the bottom of the... Uh, of the mountain here. I feel like we might as well. Here are a couple of loose stones. This... This is... This is rough. Maybe we should be avoiding these uh, these spots a little bit more. You know, if if it does if it does help, you know, let's just do it. Maybe when it says uh, prevent, maybe it. I don't know. Critical, critical interruption event. Maybe it's just ones that would um, ouch, that would uh. Oh my god, amazing. Ones that would do us in. Alright, if we have two of those, I feel like we can... I feel like we can wear this now. How long does that take? It takes eh, roughly three hours. I'll go for it. Our sanity loss is... It's pretty spicy. It's pretty spicy. 
Oh my god, speaking of pretty spicy, this is quite... Quite the scale. Can we even... Probably can do that, but... Wow. Climb up a, to a crooked, rickety deer stand. Uh, you got a deer hangs from the ceiling. Meat is fresh and juicy. Mouth starts to water. Take some of the meat and leave a gift. I do need that. Stop to rest. Your limbs feel heavy. You, str Ooh. you struggle to keep your eyes open. Wi-Fi your exhaustion. You feel safe and secure here. Before long, you embrace your velvety darkness. Yes. Uh, you don't know how long you were asleep, but you feel invigorated and bolder than ever. Sounds good to me there. How bad is this? Oh. Huh. Not as bad as I would have thought. But if we do it like this, it'll be even, even not as badder. Beautiful. Yeah, when we hit that 6,000, when this baby hits 6,000 meters, that's when we're going to see some serious stuff. 6,000 meters on the uh, the final final mountain. Final mountain for normal difficulty with this character. I do need to make that clear that we have while we are kind of nearing the end of this I guess this is one big run like each mountain is kind of a run sort of, but the bigger thing is the run Uh, you could take time to search all let's thoroughly do it you find some equipment, some boots. Minus 15% energy cost on stone. I feel like we're already pretty good on snow. I feel like stone is way more frequent. We could obviously... I mean, we could obviously... Oh, uh, fine. I feel like it's just way more likely that we're going to be on stone. See, look at that. We're, we're using almost nothing. Okay. We can get there. Boy, howdy. Let's actually stop. Or should we? The experience gain is now relatively, relatively negligible. I, sh I will use refocus when it's off cooldown, though. Uh, also, like, if this is the final mountain, the perks, I don't, I don't know that it's going to make a difference. If we can get, if we can use this one more time, like, I will just use this as a means to literally pass time. I think that that's the best use case right now for that. I think we go to the tent, uh, the uh, the cave. I think we sleep all night there. Branches of a nearby bush are covered in spider webs. As you take a closer look, you know several uh, several spiders vanishing into the hole in the ground. You bend over to inspect the hole. There's something hidden in there. Let's go for it. Uh, spiders skitter over your hands. They don't hurt you. They your fingertips brush something soft. A cloth bag. You discover equipment inside. Plus one oxygen. Per hour while moving and resting in events, but minus body temp. That is certainly something to keep a hold of. I am now actually a little afraid for sanity, though. So maybe we ought to take that off. What what is it? Is minus energy cost on all terrain. We should certainly take it off before we go to bed. But we don't have anywhere to put it. Actually, we do. We can lose temp instead. We're still gaining it, so. Oh! <laughs> 
I'm so used to there being an event there. You know what we're gonna do to celebrate uh, the mistake? We're gonna just do a freaking nice big long sleep. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> literally that was like that the Simpsons gif of walking in, taking off the hat, putting on the hat, leaving. That's what that was right there. Um, all right, well. That is that, though, and that is going to do it here for today. We'll be back to scale the rest of this dang mountain tomorrow on Insurmountable. This is our cliffhanger of the day. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and comment to keep this series going for a while. Uh, the, the intent was to do a mini-series, so I don't know how long it's going to go, because I don't know what the replayability of this game kind of even is right now. But I certainly, certainly am I'm obviously going to finish this out. Uh, and then judging on demand, maybe we'll go through with the other characters. Maybe we'll go through on the other difficulties. It all it all depends on, on how excited you guys are for this to keep going. Uh, but alas, alas, that is that. And that is going to do it for today. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel, Roguelike, some more every single day. And I'll see you next time then. Bye.